Okay, so you're telling me is you like putting rat poisoning and like ketchup bottles, mustard bottles, or whatever type of bottles at restaurants? That's right. You realize you could go to jail for this, right? You submitted to a, a crime. Oh. What happened if your parents in this video? Uh, they won't. We're heading to California. I heard this crazy story. I'm going to err on a side of caution. Everything on TikTok, I tend not to believe. There's just so many fabricated stories on that app just to get people's reactions and to get people to talk. It is crazy. We talked about the Risa T situation, which may or may not be factual. The chick that got hit in the head by the brick when we found out that's not factual. And some other stories that's... Let me make you say. This particular story comes out of California, where a young man is interviewing this young lady. And he asked her this question. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Abby. Yo, boyfriend? No. Okay, check this out. Look, if you tell me the craziest secret, a secret you never told your parents, and if I find it crazy, I'll give you five dollars cash right now. How many followers do you have? Well, I'm just starting off right now. Um, something my parents don't know is that I'm a sociopath. What do you mean? I go to restaurants and like I po I poison like the ketchups and like the the condiments and the tables. Oh, so what do you mean you poison the um the condiments? What do you mean? I put rat poison in like the ketchups and the, the busters and all that stuff. And then um, I like to watch the kids eat it. It's funny. What you're telling me is you like putting rat poisoning in like ketchup bottles, mustard bottles, or whatever type of bottles at restaurants? That's right. You realize you could go to jail for this, right? You submitted to a, a crime. Oh. Um, what happened if your parents in this video? Uh, they won't. Now, before we conversate about what we just heard, again, I'm going to err on the side of caution because I'm I'm finding this really, really hard to believe. Like some restaurants that I have went to thus far, they really don't even have like ketchup bottles or salt bottles or any type of bottles on the tables anymore. Not like they used to. They usually bring it out with the food. So that's why I'm saying I'm erring on the side of caution because maybe the restaurants out in California, they probably might still do it. But I know as of late, like I, I go to restaurants all the time. Denny's, Olive Garden, Texas Roadhouse. Golden Corral. Golden Corral. And I, I barely see any ketchup bottles or anything of that matter that's on on the table and she over here talking about that she put rat poison in those bottles and watch kids eat it or use it because she thinks this is funny this this is a story from a female it could be made up but these are the type of people that have mental problems that be coming up that be conjuring up with but again i'm going to err on the side of caution because the stories that i hear on tiktok i i tend not to believe all of them but if this is true she just admitted to a crime like a horrible crime and the guy asked her hey what if your parents see this well if the parents don't see it bruh everybody else including me and my co-driver here seen it so yeah well what's your thoughts on this because this this is about the most mind-bogglingest story that i heard on this app thus far TikTok, facial recognition do your job get that bitch <laughs> You say, ain't no way this bitch is doing this shit. She be her ass getting real though. That's nasty. That's horrible. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. He's sitting there. He ain't even like gas off there. He ain't even. He didn't even well, the guy uh, that's interviewing, I've seen bits and pieces of the video itself, but I'm just playing the audio. But yeah, he was he was kind of taken aback 
when she was telling the story, you you could see it in the video, but he's like, yeah, you just uh, admitted to a crime, like a horrible crime at that. We we talk we we talking federal here. We we talking we we talking food. F D F F D F S F. What is it? F F F U F D A choice foods. Yeah, you. I can't figure out these. That's U S D A, honey. U S D A. It's not F D A. It's U S D A. U S D A. Wait a minute. I thought U S D A was like for the meats. No, no, no. It's for food. For, for food. Yeah. So that's 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 fed time right there. And they gonna they gonna fry her ass. Well, it's still fed time. It's still fed time. That's a federal crime. You messing with food? That's federal. Put her ass in a slow injection and let's feel it. Lord and have mercy. Let her die slow. Mm, slow. But what do you think? Now, if she's for real, for real, could this be a sign of mental problems, depression? Yep. What 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 this yep. could be a sign of? Yep. She got she got some mental issues. Somebody dumped her ass or just just used her or. She got some real mental issues. And just sitting there watching the kids eat the ketchup. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, she says she get a kick out of it. Now hold on. Abby, you a boyfriend? No. Can't you tell? Look, if you tell me the craziest secret, a secret you never told your parents, and if I find it crazy, I'll give you five dollars cash right now. How many followers do you have? Well, I'm just starting off right now. Um, something my parents don't know is that I'm a sociopath. What do you mean? I go to restaurants and, like, I, po I poison, like, the ketchups and like uh, the condiments and the tables. Oh, so what do you mean you poison the um the condiments? What do you mean? I put rat poison in like the ketchups and the the mustards and all that stuff. And then um, I like to watch the kids eat it. It's funny. What you're telling me is you like putting rat poisoning in like ketchup bottles, mustard bottles, or whatever type of bottles at restaurants. That's right. You realize you still go to jail for this, right? You submitted to a, a crime. Oh. Um, what happened if your parents in this video? Uh, they won't. Sorry, young lady. TikTok is doing this thing by making this particular interview slash video going viral right now. And everybody and their mama is stitching it, duetting it, and they got their own commentary on it, just like I do. But again, I'm just going to let you guys know out there, just yeah. on the side of caution, this story right here, this story time by her, could may as well be fabricated again the way TikTok is set up people love to come on this app and and just do all crazy stuff just to get that virability right now and it's it makes no sense to me before TikTok hits different than YouTube like you could not get away with this kind of stuff on YouTube. The algorithm on YouTube is totally different. YouTube's algorithm makes you work. TikTok algorithm just, you you just say something stupid and it just gravitates onto that. And it's just, it's, it's just crazy of the, of the stuff that you, that you see and hear on this app. If it's not somebody on here begging, it's somebody on here trying to sell something. If it's not somebody on here trying to sell something, it's somebody on here that's doing something stupid. So it's crazy. I'm I'm hoping it's not true. And I'm I'm gonna stand on the side of caution that I don't think it is, but it it could be. But this goes to show you that this is this is the thought process of some of these people out here that you come across. It's the world we live in. We don't know what be going through people's minds. And here it is, this young lady over here talking about it's fun to watch kids eat condiments after she poisoned it. That's wow. That's that's wild to hear something like that, man. And 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 now now what we got to do we got to we got to go around being careful of of what we putting on our foods at a restaurant now we heard and seen restaurant horror stories so now we gotta now we gotta add this one to the list what, what what's your thoughts now on on going to restaurants hey, my stomach's turning off this shit. i'm gonna go to the restaurant i ain't going to no restaurant uh -uh. no sir no sir you have me caught up in no restaurant 
I cook my food at home. I go buy on the side of the road some produce and cook it myself. Shoot, got to be joking. <laughs> you say gots to be more careful. <laughs> you cooking your you cooking your food at the house. Yep, I got a stew pot in my truck. I'm cooking all my food right there. No cook. Well, that's crazy. I got my stomach hurt. Oh, oh. Yeah, shout out to California.